hey teacher, can you explain me the situational inflation of the global crypto markets? I will sure try. Uh, the global crypto markets. Um, you see, <clears throat> back when I was but a young child, cryptocurrency was actually pasta noodles. We'd trade all sorts of different pasta noodles as cryptocurrency. We used spaghetti. We used lasagna noodles. We used rigatoni. We used, is that a dish or a pasta? Am I confused? Uh, we used ditalini. Is it ditalini or is it... Anyway, we used a bunch of different pastas. Bowtie pasta, macaroni elbow pasta, all the pastas as cryptocurrency. And uh, we would even go to the we would go to the uh, cryptocurrency bank, and and it was it was all those big clunky computers, you know, back then. And so we would uh <coughs> we would take our pasta and we would insert it like a ticket machine at a arcade. We would we would insert the pasta into the ticket machine, <laughs> and then it would give us a little a little a little ticket that was telling us how much it was worth. Now the quality of your pasta would make it worth more as a cryptocurrency. See, if you brought in a generic uh, spaghetti noodle, the, the off-brand name, it was only going to be about worth about $10 of cryptocurrency. But if you brought in a whole grain spaghetti, it was worth about $25. Now, if you brought in rice noodles, wow, the, the price skyrocketed. And if you brought in noodles made of solid gold, the machines would not take them, and you would be extremely disappointed, so don't do that. Anyway, eventually, it was it was really chaotic, you know, people kept eating their cryptocurrency, which was a real shame, it was destroying the economy, and so we finally decided to go completely digital, skip the whole middleman of the tickets and the pasta, and so we came to the current state of the cryptocurrency. The first uh, crypto coin to ever exist was the Shrek coin. Now, everyone was like, wow, the Shrek coin, and it was, it was like super, super potters, and everyone was stoked about it. Uh, but soon the Shrek coin had a terrible economic crash in 1993, and everyone was like, oh no, not the Shrek coin, because see, Shrek was popular way back when. And so the, then they switched over to Dogecoin, which is popular to this day, because it is funny, and everyone loves memes. <laughs> and so now, every world leader, when they come to power, gets a free starter pack of about 5,000 Dogecoin. You know, you know the President of the United States? Every time they get elected, they get a starter pack of Dogecoin. That's why they run twice. They want to get two starter packs of Dogecoin. Cookie coin soon on the market? Yo, should I launch my own, my own cryptocurrency? It will be based on pasta and worth nothing. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's cookie currency. No, it would be funnier if it was cookie currency based on pasta. That would just be hilarious. People are like, oh, did you get the new cookie currency? Yep, I got a whole box of spaghetti. Everyone's like, what? I thought it was cookie currency. Everyone's like, 